Watu walikuwa na semi permanent homes eh, permanent homes hii. Eh? Wanapata hata muda ya kuu. saying that uh, this operation is going to continue. We shall overrun every ADF camp in Eastern DRC. We shall reach everywhere they are. On foot, we shall reach. We are going to have a lot of machine gun, bomb making materials, and we are going to laptops with the core information. Sora kwa budi la wano. Nebi intuwe bila la vinge bili. Kwa sanga. Na ye vikuru bie 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 mba budi jeko. Yali mkambi nene. Eastern DRC ya ADF. Yali elmua abantu kukaba habili mubana. Kufa kumpapula zi kwa sanga. Muzi etu wako ata doji. Message. Message. Your camp. See your camp. So now camp is very much. Now we are very much. We are going to be able to get out of here. Operation here. Not just a couple of cases. Air force and artillery. Kuba camps. Zaba. Zaba. ADF. Camps. Is where you can go. 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 Camps. Yeah. You are. Tondoli. Belu one. Belu two. And. Nendala. Teri rutalo wena kupiri yo vasatu. Nendalo zisinga kutuwalo ugude. Tosoko la genda murutalo nogama anja kuruwalo no rutalo ndumale muwiki ya muu oba wiki sibiri. Uinza no kumaro umuaka, uinza no kumare miyake hivili yo rutalo guru wa ukumala. Pero umanyi ngabwe vale. Umanyi nafe tuwali kwa wa yekera. Katia wa yekera tuwa manyi takitiki si zaagwe. Katia wa tambula, bageza kukutuwa fa stretchi inga. Ba tambula, ba vamo mkampus. Kati ugogua fe, kio kia fe Tumanyi uwe tuja kukwala, tuja kubafuna, tuja kubatuka kuhu Ya, currently we are in Kambi ya Yua You have visited Kambi ya Yua And that was the first phase of the operation So we are going, we are now transiting into the second phase of the operation Specifically, what was there? What was it? The UPDF base? Kambi Ayua, we we captured it with less resistance from the enemy. We charged a few things: PK, it's a machine gun, bomb marking, making materials, laptops, and other and other documents. It was one of the biggest camps within the. The Eastern DRC. It had 600 and, uh, and uh, 24 people, according to the documents found within uh, the, the, the camp. Those uh, challenges are many. The challenge of the terrain. It's a very rough terrain. It's a jungle with very deep valleys and hills. Uh, the challenge number two is. Um, Diseases, of course, you know it's a jungle and it has a lot of diseases. So our boys have, um, uh, are getting uh, diseases. Um, also, the challenge, the challenge of the long lines of communication from Uganda. It is fun. We have to supply by air because we are not using the, the road. There are no roads in, in Congo. Many challenges. 
so far. That, that is the biggest camp we have captured, but along uh, the advance, there were some other small camps that we overran to reach that, that, that big camp, Kambi Ayua. That's how right. we are still in operations and we are, um, we are doing our best not to give them time. Some documents you found in that camp, is there any way they will boost it, they will help you to find those those. Of course those we shall get a lot of information, especially from laptops and other things. I don't want to talk about that beyond that. And, and will you we, we want operational security, right? Sure, sure. Will you help to fight other militias as UPDF? Are you ready to help in fighting other militias? Um, that will depend. It depends on our memorandum of understanding with the government of Congo. So, it's about the ADF and other uh, armed militias. If if they become resistant, we have to deal with them. Could be maybe it could be one of the uh, the, uh, the reasons why they are not bombing. Maybe I cannot give you a direct answer on that. Could be because they are on the run. Yeah, um, we currently we are in Kambi you, you have visited Kambi Ayua, and um, that, was the, that was the first phase of the operation, Shuja. So we are going, we are now uh, transiting into the second phase of the operation. Yeah, specifically, what was there? What, what was it, the UPDF base? Kambi Ayua, we, we captured it with less resistance from the enemy. Um, we charged a few things, uh, PK, it's a machine gun, um, bomb marking, making materials, laptops, um, and other and doc other documents. It, it was one of the biggest camps within the, the uh, Eastern DRC. It had 600 and, uh, and uh, 24 people, according to the documents found within uh, the, 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 the camp. So, uh, what challenges are you facing? Of course, uh, challenges are many. The challenge of the terrain. It's a very rough terrain. It's a jungle with very deep valleys and hills. Uh, the challenge number two is um, diseases. Of course, you know, it's a jungle and it has a lot of diseases, so our boys have are getting uh, diseases. Um, also, the challenge, the challenge of the long lines of communication from Uganda. It is far, and we have to supply by air because we are not using the, the road. There are no roads in, in the Congo. Many challenges. So far, how many camps have you captured? From the that that is the biggest camp we have captured. But along uh, the advance, there were some other small camps that we overran to reach that that big camp. Kambia, you are. That's how and it, no. how will UPDF ensure that uh, ADF will not regroup again? We are still in operations and we are um, we are doing our best not to give them time to, to regroup. Some documents and you found in that camp, is there any way they will boost it, they will help you to find those documents? Of course those we shall get a lot of information, especially from laptops and other things. I, I don't want to talk about that beyond that. And, and will you we, we want operation security, right? Sure, sure. Will you help to fight other militias as UPDF? Are you ready to help in fighting other militias? Um, that will depend. It depends on our memorandum of understanding with the government of Congo. Mm -hmm. So it's about the ADF and other uh, armed militias. If, if they become resistant, we have to deal with them. We have to deal with the
enemy has been preparing and we have also been preparing we knew that there was that stretch of road about nine kilometers that we needed to work on to be able you know to cross our logistics and the troops ahead to 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 advance and and, and engage the enemy we know that they are moving out of their camps but we shall follow them wherever they will go um we are supporting fadak fadak forces we shall follow them wherever they will go experience of fighting in jungle warfare our troops are trained on in fighting in jungle warfare so it's not the first time we are doing that we have ever done that in Congo we have ever done that in in uh, South Sudan we have done that in, in Central African Republic it's not a new environment at all